Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to a quick demonstration of uh, sort of tips for working in text editors, uh, specifically on Code Anywhere, but most of these tips are actually doable on any modern uh, development text editor. So these tips are typically available in things like Sublime or Atom or many, many other uh, text editors that you might be using. So um, if you're not using Code Anywhere, uh, try them out. And if they don't work exactly, look up the documentation for your specific text editor. You can probably find uh, all of these techniques available to you. Um, so obviously, as developers, we type a lot. And the faster we can type, the faster we can code, the more work we can get done. And uh, that's uh, sort of the name of the game. So getting to know your text editor is really crucial. Uh, getting to a comfortable spot with it. And not everybody is comfortable with all of the same things. So I'm going to show you a bunch of stuff that I find really useful about Code Anywhere. Uh, there are many different ways to work with Code Anywhere. There are many different text editors to work in. So uh, you know, definitely feel free to explore. And you're, I, I encourage everybody to explore and try to find uh, the, the approach and the setup that works best for you and the way you like to develop. Um, what I like about uh, uh, the Code Anywhere interface, it uses Code Mirror, which is a great project and has most all of the features that you find in modern text editors. And some of them are incredibly useful when you're chugging through laying out HTML or popping in code or formatting data or all the different things that we do as developers. So we're going to start running through just a few things. Um, first of all, we have basic code completion. Uh, so if we wanted to put a link here, for example, we could say a href, um, and we'll put a link to YouTube in here. And then when we close that, we automatically get, get the closing tag for the anchor tag that we just created. And we could put in the label that we want for our anchor text. Um, that is, uh, that's a really handy feature, actually. A lot of people neglect just how useful it is to have that happen. So again, if I start an unordered list, it's going to actually create the ending tag and automatically pop me down onto a line where I can start populating list items. So let's say that this list of stuff right here, that I wanted to copy this into a set of list items. Now, uh, there's a few different ways that I could accomplish this. Um, I could do line by line, kind of like this, where I copy and then paste in and uh, could work like that. That would take me a decent amount of time to work through. Um, or I could use the multiple cursor feature of Code Anywhere. So I'm just going to cut these out and paste uh, all these lines in. Um, a lot of the time when you paste, you get a little bit of an indentation issue. A lot of new developers don't realize that you can hold down Shift and click to select everything, and then just hit Tab, and it will bump everything into the next tab spot so that you can have nicely lined up uh, text. Keeping your indentations um, correct is really critical for writing good code. Um, so I'm going to start on line 11 here, and I'm just going to hold down the click on line 11, and then I'm going to hold down the Command button on my Mac. Uh, that would be the Control button on your PC. And I'm going to click on each line here. And what you're going to notice is that it looks like my cursor is getting longer and longer. What I'm actually doing is putting down individual cursors on each line. And so now I can uh, type the tag that I need uh, at the beginning, which is an opening li tag. So I'm going to type li and close that tag. And you notice that I now have put an li on every single one of those lines, and I only typed those four characters. Uh, now I need to put an li at the end of the lines. And for that, it's useful to understand that you can move cursors around with the arrow keys and the control keys on your, on your keyboard. So I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to hold control and hit right arrow. If I was on a PC, I'd hold, uh, or hold command and hit right arrow. If I was on a PC, I would hit hold control and hit right arrow. And that puts my cursor at the end of the line. And it doesn't matter that the lines are different lengths. So then I'm going to go ahead and type my closing tag. And I just have to type the slash, and it automatically knows that I want to close the, the li that's open. Now, if I wanted to go back to the beginning of the line, I could hold my Command button down and hit left arrow. And that would take me all the way to the beginning of the line. I can also move through the lines by using the Option key on my Mac in the arrows. Um, that would be the Alt key on your Windows PC and the arrows. So with Option, I move through. 
and I move basically just word by word. So if I wanted to move word by word, that would be um, possible too. And it looks like I've got a lot of chaos, but I can always just hold the command button down and use the arrow to bring them all back to the beginning or all out to the end of the, uh, of the line. So that's a pretty handy way of doing, um, of doing multiple edits. Uh, sometimes you need a little bit more flexibility when you select. So there is another feature for selecting available in uh, Code Anywhere, and that is um, that is being able to select columns of text. So on the Mac, if I hold the Option button, on the Windows PC, that would be the Alt button, I uh, get the plus sign here. And if I start clicking and dragging, what you'll see is that I'm actually selecting this whole column of text. And if I copy it, and come up here and just paste it, you'll notice that I get this column of text pasted. And that's pretty great. Um, I didn't select everything. If I had normally just clicked and selected, notice that it would have selected all of those lines. I wouldn't have been able to just select that, uh, that column. So instead, when I hold down the uh, Option button or the Alt button on the Windows PC, I can select just that column of text. Now. Being able to paste this into a list would be great. Uh, so I'm going to um, make another list. And I'm going to create list item. And I'm basically going to copy that list item. And I know that there are seven rows that I need. So I'm going to put in seven copies of the or six more copies of this to get seven list items. Three, four, five, six, seven. And now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hold the Option button again and select this column of text again. And I'm just going to copy it like normal. And I'm going to come up here, I'm going to hold the Command button and click to put multiple cursors on each line so that there's a cursor in each of these list items. And then I'm going to use Command V, which is the keyboard shortcut to paste. And you notice that I actually get each line pasted into each column, each, each list item. So it matches up. As long as the number of cursors matches the number of lines that I copied, it's going to match up like that. So that's super handy when you're trying to get data into a different format. You could be formatting into HTML. You could be formatting into JSON. You could be formatting into some other kind of structure, you know, JavaScript objects or something like that, um, or, uh, or arrays or anything like that. Um, it all depends, but you can, you can do a whole bunch with this. Uh, Code Anywhere actually even supports a technology called Emmet which um, allows you to do shortcut HTML creation. So if you're uh, creating a whole bunch of HTML elements and, um, and you, you find yourself doing repetitive things, you can look at uh, the Emmet documentation, which I have the Emmet cheat sheet pulled up here. You can look at this and you can use these shortcuts to actually generate, um, a, uh, to actually generate uh, an HTML structure. So for example, I could say ULLI, and uh, hit tab. And what that does is that then renders an unordered list with an li inside of it. Um, so then I could copy paste you know, that six more times if I wanted. Or I could use ul, and then I do the, the greater than symbol, li, and then the multiplication symbol to say I actually want seven list items, and hit tab there. And now I get seven list items listed there. I can come down here, hold down my Option key, and select out this column of text, copy it, come in here, hold down my Command as I click, click in seven times, and then paste. And I just created that list with all of those items in an incredibly quick way. So that's great. Um, I think uh, that that is most of the of the useful tricks, but especially when you're playing around with stuff and when you're trying to do new things, you create things that sometimes you're not sure whether you want to keep, but you kind of want to get rid of them for a little bit at least to see what it's like. And so you might end up commenting and uncommenting different parts of different files as you work through your development process. And um, a lot of the time when we comment, we just manually type, you know, the comment in. Uh, like that, and it's not too tough. Um, that's not too bad. But we could do that by selecting, and then um, you can actually 
under edit is a toggle comment um, command, and that keyboard shortcut is command slash, and that's really common keyboard shortcut in many text editors for this uh, sort of uh, multi-line uh, toggling comments. And so what you can do is you can just hit command slash and put a comment there. And then if you wanted to, you could come back and you could select this and hit command slash again, and it gets rid of your comment. And so you're right back in business. So same deal with this. So um, knowing to toggle comments is super, super useful. So there's several things in Code Anywhere that are going to help you. Um, there's the different types of code completion. Um, I can very easily go start typing an attribute and I'll get a, a completion. When I get those popping up, I can hit tab to select them. Um, like that. I can also do code completion on things like anchor tags. I can select that with tab and get fill-ins and, and uh, closing tags put in. Um, so all my HTML elements work that way. I can do multiple cursors by holding command and clicking. I can select columns of text by holding option and clicking and dragging. And I can paste on those multiple lines and everything. And then finally, I can use emit to create um, crazy, fun stuff. Boom. Crazy structures. So have fun with all of these different tools in Code Anywhere or whatever text editor you're working in. Um, the only thing that you'll need to remember in most text editors, the emit-like functionality would be an extra plugin to plug in. Um, but most of them have some kind of plugin that will support em emit or a really similar technology. Um, it's great stuff. Uh, the, the more capable you can become with your text editor, the better time you'll have uh, trying to code. There have been studies that have related uh, speed of typing and speed of expressing yourself in text with quality of code and the amount of code that gets done. So they're directly related. It's worthwhile to invest in your tools and your skills just working with the tools. So enjoy. Uh, I hope you have a good time developing. Take care. See you next time. Bye.